Guys, you've been waiting for this video for another long time, but finally, finally, we got another kayak right here on the Alias Flipping Show. Guys, the sun is in my face. Ooh, can't really see. Anyways, I'm wearing an Old Town jersey today. Is that a jersey? T-shirt? Pullover? Whatever the name is. Just so you know that I'm not like 100% biased right here with Pelican, although Pelican people are just playing awesome. But I want to give you a walkthrough of this boat today. Right, let's get to it. Alright guys, we got the Pelican High Drive version 2 right here. It doesn't need much of assembling, but let's go ahead and do it. You can see here, HD2. This means this is a version 2.0 and it's upgraded. The materials are stronger, so you shouldn't have any issue whatsoever. So let's go ahead. We got the cranks, one crank, two crank. And this right here is for the rudder. We're going to set up the rudder on the Cash 110 high drive pretty soon. All right, so first we need to remove this bolt right here. And hopefully I don't put the, the left in the right. <laughs> Wish me good luck. Okay, this is where your feet will go. See, the drive goes like this. And then this has to be looking to you. So let's go ahead and do that and find the hole. You gotta press this so it will click where it needs to. There you go, it clicked. Soft padding right here. It's great because you could use it with no shoes, but then if you wanna wear boots, then you have this kind of like, definitely not soft. I don't know what the name of it is, like kind of like griddles, whatever it is. Like it had this cutouts right here that you could use with a pair of boots boom all right so let's put this screwed in mm -hmm. we need to make sure that this thing is really tied down pretty good we don't want to lose a crank on the water and for that i should have used my wrench but i don't have it with me i'm just gonna use my pliers all right so this is pretty tight right there i don't see any issues with that falling let me go ahead and put the other crank like this i'm gonna put it in the middle same way let me take the screw out see it's all the way in boom and let's go ahead open it a little bit there you go it's where it needs to go and we should have clearance right here to put the screw through there you go just screw it down well it's not a screw it's a bolt but anyways you get my meaning all right that's pretty tight right there there you have it let's go ahead and do this all right so we got the rudder system here definitely gonna need a pair of pliers let's set up this piece first this good jump thingy here goes up like this oh look they put screws instead of rivets good job pelican <laughs> super proud of that screws instead of rivets love it I wonder what's behind the screws let's check it out you see that awesome pelican good job <laughs> nice all right so let's go ahead and put this good one where it belongs. I'm gonna put the top one first because the other one has room to move. One up. Now number two. Oh, 
all right so now this is not going anywhere and we could go ahead and install this rudder let's go ahead and put it in yes we're gonna tie it down soon enough just for now i'm just gonna put it in here so it's in there let's take this out put the bag in before i forget boom now all right so we got a hex tool right here Let's, that's too small try this one right here it's probably too small yeah it's the bigger one i think it's this one better be this one because i don't have any other there you go exactly this one now just take enough that you're gonna be able to put this thing through to, to, to. and gotta make sure that that rudder control handle is straight looking forward so i think here we're fine and then make the rudder straight as well actually i think they recommend bringing the, the rudder up and hold it down here so it doesn't move out of position and this way is perfectly where it needs to be let me go ahead and lose the other side see that boom that's awesome put this through there you go so now now we're talking the rudder is where it needs to be the rudder control is looking straight we got the rudder being held down here but this bungee and let's just tie it down enough that it doesn't move all right okay that's good enough let's do the other side and then we're gonna test it to make sure that everything is the way it should be let's go ahead and bring this rudder down if you take the top piece and you move it forward it's gonna bring the rudder down if you take the bottom piece and you move it forward it's bringing i need to bring it down so we could steer do a steer test nice look at that this is awesome see that rudder move and right here you can see the handle moving another change is that this handle is longer let's put the paddle here where the paddle goes Boonga. Dunga. man it's so difficult to do things with one hand because you're holding the camera with the other hand but we did it so as you know pelican sent this beauty over for review because they're awesome and they want to make sure that you guys see unbiased reviews of their kayaks but today we're going to be doing a walkthrough i already set it up you guys saw that and i want to show you everything that this boat has to offer right now and look that's me right there you see me with the camera that's what's up this thing we had it at iCast we took it on the water and it performed really well i thought it was better than the 130 high drive Maybe because it's more refined. This is like a, their, their second hobby style Mirage Drive boat right there. You can see the, the fins right there. So this thing was really awesome. It performed really well. So I'm gonna start this walkthrough right here in the rear. We can see that we have nice handle here. We still have rivets. Pelican, come on, get rid of those rivets like you did here. See that change right there? Haha, <laughs> now they have bolt and not inside. I need to, I need to, this i just installed the rudder and i forgot to make this a tighter fit fit a tighter fit because if not i'm gonna lose it i need to like screw it down a little bit more all right so now we got the rudder here nice rudder this boat turns well we're gonna be doing a fully ali style underwater demo with this boat so you can see everything that is coming up soon we're gonna put a fish finder to monitor the speeds and everything else and as well, we're gonna test other drives like the hobby drive in there. But now, let's get going. Right here, you see you have a drain plug, pretty nice, Pelican style drain plug. I really like that this thing is long, at the end of it, so it doesn't fall off. Boom. You see if I could get it in, there you go, it's not coming, it's not going anywhere. So the rudder, you could just hold it down here with this bungee cable and you could bring it down using this too we have a time well right here it's not the biggest time well that is but it's wide enough 
you see you have a lot of space here why and maybe you have enough space here to put a milk crate we're gonna check that out like right now can't even do this damn it and you see you have pad eyes with a bungee cable i love this orange color really nice but blue is for the winners guys blue come on pelican put blue in there <laughs> all right so let's look at inside right here you have a little nice bag wrap look guys nothing is waterproof this may be watertight but it's not waterproof so whatever you put in here water is gonna get in there because you're on the water dude so you get access here to inside the boat if you need to uh, fix the rudder here in the back or if maybe you want to put like a power pole plate somewhere on here you could definitely work this area out and it's it's you have a lot of space to work with that's pretty awesome that you have a lot of space there to in there with your hands and all that stuff so let me just uh, this is a terrible job closing this thing i'll fix it later anyways all right so moving forward we see one flush mounted rod holder another flush mounted rod holder pretty good you have an area here that you could definitely install something there if you want maybe another access point right here if you want i i don't see why you would do that but you have space here that you could put that uh, also look at this flat surface here you could put gear tracks right here in the tank well and install all sort of accessories like camera boom poles or rod holders whatever you need to you have a lot of space here moving up you see the paddle holder this, I wish this bungee was a little stronger but you can make it stronger if you want you could just like cut the ends and put it back again another thing Pelican please get rid of the get, get rid of the rivets please do it for me no rivets come on all right so let's keep going um right here you got the rotor control the handle you can see that it's longer now it's more comfortable that's that's a plus in my book you have a pad eye here for whatever purpose you want to use it for you get a metal handle i wish it had two like one over there one over here when i was transported this boots right here up to my house i had to use this pad eye to hold it down instead of the handle because the handle was in the bottom of the truck so it's nice it would be nice if you had another handle right here on the side so maybe for future basically this, this is a stopper like a line stopper I really don't know what you would use that for maybe if you have a motor here right here in the rear or maybe for an anchor line and another flush mounted rod holder this is looking forward that is great because a lot of times you have like you need to change a lure or something you could just put your rod right here and right these two on the backs are perfectly aligned so you could go trolling amazing stuff we're gonna touch on the seat later because this seat is is amazing and it has some little little things that you don't know like if you see it you won't know but i'm gonna show you let's keep going right here you got the drive this is the 2.0 version is stronger it's built stronger stronger material so i'm super pumped to have it on the water and test it boom no you don't have reverse but it's so easy to take it out that aim free reverse flip. Think, look at that you could do it in a second guys uh, it's not attached to anything so I will make sure that you put some kind of leash somewhere see let me show you here leash it down and then attach it somewhere on the boat so in case you flip or you for you have to drive out for whatever reason you don't lose it because yeah look at this pelicans making sure that you know that if you hit shallow water to do, to take the drive out don't bitch it with the drive you know just be careful because you may break those things break right now we can see here that you have scotty mount one and two i wish we had more like why not put two more here in the rear like i was saying before that would have been like super amazing now let's move ahead to the front now you may probably been asking yourself what is this paddle what what is this paddle doing here this is pelican's new paddle this is a fiberglass paddle but it is super light and it has this indentation here that makes it easier to paddle i forgot the name of this thing i'll blink it somewhere i still don't know <laughs> right so let's move up you can see that you have bungee cables right here that will bow that will bow that will hold a bottle of water that's pretty cool you have it on the other side too and you could put definitely put like a tackle box in here maybe one over here too pretty awesome and you still have that open deck design look at this you have enough space right here in the front that you could definitely put a cooler 
and hold it down with these bungees or you could put whatever maybe another tackle box or, or a fish bag you could definitely install another hashing here to get access to the, to the storage here inside the boat if you want to do that and you got the front and the handle now let's talk about the seat all right before we get to the seat this is the same seat that you have on the other boats but look at this right here you have like a pouch you could put maybe a taco box or some some clothes or maybe uh some kind of like water bag or something and what else here you got another pocket you can put another thing in here or maybe if you want to have a little bit of more lumbar support you could put some uh, cushion here that would be pretty cool and what's more you got more stuff here you could hold things here i don't know what you would put in here maybe uh i don't know you tell me what would you put in here and this is for pliers you could definitely put a set of pliers right here no problem so i really like this seat it's super comfy this this is comfy and you you don't have this mesh all over the place it's just right here and here it's solid which makes it more comfortable than many other seats I may not. Right, so let's go ahead and remove the seat because that's what's up. Let me give me a second. Done. I want to take the seat out so you can see what's inside. Or, you know. Right, so we got a nice open area here. You could definitely put a cooler and use the cooler as a seat because it's a flat area. You got you have a scoper hole. This could be widening out. I would check with Pelican before I do anything to make sure that the warranty still covers that. But if you need this bigger, you could definitely do that. And we don't have padding here. We don't have padding. The older Pelican catch does have padding. So don't know why Pelican didn't have padding here. Maybe to cut back on cost. But still, you could add your own. That's no problem. On this boat, you could definitely stand up and fish. We're going to make sure to do a dedicated video about flipping this boat and see how stable it is right so now let me take the seat out in the drive and i want to show you how it looks from the bottom i didn't want to do that sorry sorry boat but look almost nothing happened to it it's pretty awesome Okay, so let's flip it. Let's see what's up. That's how it looks from the bottom. Look at that. I like these holes. They're not the fastest, but they're stable and they look cool. Look at that. This is what they call a tunnel hole. It's gonna give you a little bit of stability and also a little bit of speed. So it's like a hybrid type of thing. It looks cool. And this is how the Mirage, I keep saying Mirage, but the, the fin drive system, like this is how it looks from the top. This piece could be replaced. If, you, if it breaks or whatever, you could replace it. That's no problem. Boom, let's talk about the specs. This is a 10 foot and a half boat 10 feet and 6 inches long look at that 10 footer a lot of companies are doing that 10 footer boat a lot it's, look they're not that heavy they're fast enough they're stable enough and you have a lot more space to store them <laughs> and it's 34 inches wide again that 34 inch seems to be the norm with boats basically it weighs 67 pounds that's pretty awesome 67 pounds that's a killer and it holds 350 pounds so those are the specs it's gonna retail for $1,299 and I'm gonna put a link down below in the description where you can buy one of these for yourself that is of course an affiliate link when you buy it through there we get a little commission that helps the channel pretty awesome stuff I might add but look at this this thing looks pretty pretty cool pretty cool I, I can't wait to have it on the water again and do some fishing which we're gonna do tomorrow